Hello, Slidell. Uh, we're back again. Uh, I'm going to take this mask off temporarily uh, to give you another video uh, about what's going on in our community with the COVID situation. I asked both the chiefs to be with us today, Chief Coffin from Fire District 1 and, and Chief Fandle from uh, Slidell Police Department. Uh, these are my partners in trying to, to take care of our community in, in every way we can, uh, our, our otherwise known as Team Slidell. Um, I asked Chief Kaufman because he's able to take the data that comes from the state and break it down to zip code level information so that we can determine the number of cases in the four slide out zip codes, 58596061. and 61. That gives us a much better idea of what's been going on in our, in our city as opposed to what's going on overall in the parish. Um, when we were doing these videos a couple of weeks ago, uh, there was a lot more activity. We, as the activity dwindled down, we started reducing the number of videos, but now we're seeing an, an uptick again. There is an uptick uh, or surge, if you will, in St. Tammany Parish. But if you look at the data that Chief Kaufman has for us, it's not showing the same percentages of those numbers in Slide as we had before. Before we were looking at about half of the cases in, in parish overall were in the city of Slidell. Now we're down around 40% thereabouts. In, in some cases, maybe a, a little lower than that. So there's more cases of COVID occurring in the parish, but not necessarily growing at such a rapid rate in the city limits, which is a good thing. We believe that it's attributable to a couple of things. Early intervention when we, we engaged on this uh, back in March, April timeframe, we also believe it's back then and during the original growth of this and spike, whatever you want to call it, we had a lot of people wearing masks and studies, cases. There's data both ways, but we believe the cases that we're seeing in the studies coming from LSU that say that if, if the whole community would mask when they're in public in a social setting for 14 days, that we can reduce the growth of this by 80%. Uh, they're about 75 to 80 percent. We believe that would happen and it would put us back on the same track we were before with a decreasing number of cases and a manageable number of cases. So before we get out of hand and we go into this 4th of July weekend, we wanted to get together and, and talk to folks and, and let Chief Coffin give them a little bit of information about the numbers, let Chief Fandle give a little bit of information about, about what he's seeing with groups and policing in the community and for us to emphasize the importance in particular uh, tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday, this 4th of July weekend, to really work on social distancing as much as possible when you're in a social setting. If you can't social distance, put a mask on. Mask is gonna protect those around you from you, but there's also some indication that it may possibly help you a, a, a little bit. So it, it's, it's a self uh, protection, social, uh, responsibility mechanism. Um, we don't have a mask mandate in the city. I, I'm not going to be a nanny state and I'm not going to say you have to wear a mask. But I want to give you all the information that we can to help you make a good informed decision and be responsible when you're out with people around you. Um, I, I encourage people to wear masks when they're in a social setting, when you're going to the grocery store, when you're going to the restaurant, Wear it in, sit down at your table, take it off, have your meal, have your drinks, put it back on as you walk to the door uh, so that you, you're not exposing anybody around you to, in, in case you've come into somebody that, that is an asymptomatic carrier and they're out there. So with that, I'm gonna uh, look to Chief uh, Kaufman to uh, talk to us a little bit about the data uh, real quickly. So Chief Kaufman, please, if you will, share with us. Thank you, man. Uh, I think you said it well. Uh, I want to first start by saying uh, I, I couldn't be more proud of the five District 1 uh, employees. We've been uh, fully active throughout this entire crisis in addition to a, a, a storm event. We've been here to serve the public uh, along with uh, uh, Slide LPD uh, throughout this entire event. Uh, our employees have been faced with uh, direct contact with COVID-19 patients. We've seen uh, increase, an increase in normal call volume since phase two has uh, opened just for, for having more people on the roads, uh, having more of our businesses open. 
So um, that's just part of the data that's that's normal. We wanted to see that increase. Uh, it just says we have more people moving around. Uh, and we talk about the data directly related to, to COVID-19 and what we're facing today. Uh, I can't stress enough to support what, what, what the mayor said. We did some things early on and helped the, the slide out zip codes. We continue to want that to happen. However, when we look back in April, uh, April 1st to the 15th, there were 44 deaths in the parish. We had roughly 129 cases. Uh, when I look at June today, uh, the last part of June, we had five deaths. So de the death rate has declined drastically because of how the cases are being handled at the hospital level uh, and the, the, the various different uh, components of the the, the patients, the age, the, uh, uh, the at-risk patients, and how they're being handled. But the, the, the cases have seemed to spike in the past, really the last, the last two weeks to three weeks, and, and we know why we've been through a holiday prior to now, and we're at 69 cases today in St. Tammany Parish. Um, 18 of those cases are from the Slidell zip code, so that gives you a pretty good snapshot of what's happening across St. Tammany Parish. It appears we handled uh, our clusters in surge, which was a lot, of, a lot of it was driven by nursing home clusters. Today, that's not the case. It's community spread. There's no question in our mind across the parish based on the data, but we're seeing the, the increase in cases in everywhere outside the, the slide L zip code. So everyone in St. Tammany has to be aware of that and do whatever it takes to try to, we have to try to bring those spikes back down. We did flatten the curve. Uh, however, uh, I really believe the re some people being relaxed have caused the, uh, the cases to increase through community spread. Uh, also the, 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 the mask, the PPE, uh, they work. I mean, all of our employees at District 1, uh, I have one person that's in quarantine right now that was affected uh, uh, off duty. But from direct contact at work, I've had no one infected. So PPE works, you know, sanitizing your hands, wearing a mask, uh, all the protective equipment works. You know, and, and I too have been to several restaurants. It works, Mayor, just what you said. Use common sense. Wear your mask when, you're, uh, when you can't be uh, uh, six feet apart or social distancing. But when you get in, uh, everything is laid out pretty good. I want to I wanna encourage people to support our business. The phasing program that I sat on the committee for St. Tammany Parish was to allow our businesses to get back open, get our economy uh, back to work, and we really have to charge ourselves with doing whatever it takes to be successful in those businesses. And uh, we, want, we don't want our business owners or the employees that have to deal with, uh, quite frankly, the enforcement to, to have a debate whether somebody should wear a mask. So we're asking everyone to be respectful, wear the mask when you go in close contact with anybody that you can't social distance from. Let's try to support our businesses to be successful. And, and right now, we did go backwards because we had to stay in an extended phase two period. Uh, we want to do whatever it takes to where we don't have to go even further back. Uh, we want to do what we have to do to go forward into phase three, which would be the next step. And right now, Mayor, we're, we're not there overall as a parish. Right. All right. <clears throat> Thank you, Chief Kaufman. I appreciate you being with us today. Appreciate that information. Chief Fandle. Appreciate it, Mayor. Thank you. Um, no need to repeat what the Mayor and Chief Kaufman have said. Uh, <clears throat> the data, data bank backs everything up that they've said. Uh, well, I think awareness is the key that we're going into the July 4th weekend. Uh, stay aware of your surroundings. If you know you're going to be around a lot of people, practice social distancing. It's been proven that works. I think we're seeing the numbers here in the Slotel area because of the community taking precautions early on in phase one. So let's continue uh, with the practices that we've been. Wear your mask when you can. Uh, wear it for other people, not just not just yourself. So this July Fourth weekend, have a good weekend, and uh, just be careful. And Mayor, if I can add something. Sure. Um, sure. Right now in St. Tammany, we are testing uh, on an average a thousand people a day in our parish. So, um, you know, I, 
obviously that's that was one of the, the components of going forward being able to test collect that data uh, also the antibodies testing that is happening but we have to understand right now that this is going to be a long haul a long road not a, a sprint uh, we won't see a, a, a vaccine, uh, we're being told, till the end of the year or possibly the first quarter of 2021. So we really have to be prepared and settle in for whatever precautions have to be taken. Uh, the other part that I think we have to stress right now is all of our citizens that are at risk. Anyone who's, who's a, a senior citizen, someone that has a medical condition, those individuals need to be at home as much as possible and only go out uh, absolutely when it's necessary. Uh, those are the people that are at most risk. I think that's what we've done well. I think that's why we see the death rate uh, uh, decline, uh, how drastically has it, it, it declined in our parish. Um, you know, you want those people to be uh, educated and understanding what the the, the challenges are. So we want them to stay at home. And I, I can't stress it enough. Um, you know, we're in the middle of this. We're not at the, at nowhere near being at the end. And we continue to learn through this process. So uh, since we're stuck in phase two, uh, you know, that kind of put us in a pause uh, position to say, what can we do at this point? Uh, continue to do the things we've talked about in the, in the slide out area. Um, you know, I really appreciate everything we've done at, as a leadership team and, and how the, the citizens in this area have been informed. Uh, and, and I encourage anybody that has questions, you know, feel free to call us. Uh, we'll be glad to give you any data that you're asking that we're able to provide uh, because that gives the facts behind the decisions that we are making. Uh, we're making decisions, all of us, based on a, a collective uh, database that we're all looking at in the best interest of our public. Right. Thanks, Chief. You know, um, Slido, you, you've asked for these briefings. Uh, I've gotten some calls this week, uh, last week, asking for our leadership team uh, to stand up and, and tell us what's going on, tell us what the numbers are. Uh, you've asked, we've responded. We I greatly appreciate those of you that did reach out to me uh, and asked for us to do this. Uh, it, it helps me to know that uh, we are providing information that you find useful. So we'll continue to try to do this a, a, as much as possible. As we go through the COVID uh, situation, if it spikes, we'll, we'll do it more frequently. As we start to flatline again, uh, we will probably reduce the number, but I promise you we will continue to do this uh, and, and provide information for you to be able to make informed decisions about how you operate in your daily lives, where you travel, uh, in the community, what you do, who you see, who you interact with, and how you do that. So uh, again, thank you for the opportunity to serve. Uh, I'm proud to be a part of uh, Team Slide Out, honored to be uh, chosen to sit with these gentlemen to, to represent our community. As we said, going into this 4th of July holiday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you're gonna be around a lot of people, chances are. You're gonna be in family gatherings, chances are. Be socially and personally responsible when you do that, please. Remember, social distancing. Wear a mask where appropriate, uh, where appropriate if you can't social distance. And please, by all means, you know your health. You know your health concerns. If it doesn't make sense for you to be in these situations, to put yourself at a higher risk, avoid them at all costs. If you do go into a situation that you're not comfortable in, the easiest way to take care of that is to remove yourself from that situation. If you go into a shop, a restaurant, a store, if you're not comfortable with the folks around you, with the number of people that are around you, if you go to a party and it's just too crowded, casually exit and, and excuse yourself and get to a place where you're more comfortable. Taking care of yourself is very important throughout all this. Taking care of those around you is just as important. So. Thanks for listening to us today. I hope we've provided some useful information for you. We'll continue to try to do this as, as, uh, as, as needed. Uh, again, I'm honored to serve as part of Team Slide Out with these gentlemen. Uh, and I'm, I'm just thankful to, that we're all on the same team uh, trying to take care of and protect our community. Thank you for listening. Have a good day and a wonderful 4th of July weekend, Slide Out.